Hey there, Maniacs and viewers, you're watching the main man channel. It's not just a name, it's a way of life. you got to improvise, adapt, and overcome each and every day, making this cruel old world. So, that being said, the topic of today's video. Well, I wanted to show you something. I wanted to get something on y'all's radar real quick. And I'm not going to give a lot of details about it. Okay. But. As you can see here. This box has a Smith & Wesson MP40. Police trade in. And. Uh, here. Is what it looks like. It came with two magazines in that box and it came wrapped in bubble wrap here it is okay uh i've already got a smith and wesson m p 40 and uh this one i bid it on an auction and i won it you know opposes these gun, online gun facebook auction and uh i guess that do2 is what the uh, law enforcement mags look like. But anyway, that's the color of the follower. And we take out the other magazine. And it looks the same as that one, except it's got a black follower. So, I don't know. Uh, I'm not fired this gun. Uh, it has been fired some. You can tell it's been carried some. And uh, we're not doing a complete review on it today. But something that brought my that caught my attention is the Brinks logo on it. It's got a Brinks security logo on it. So evidently, some kind of Brinks guard, maybe an armored truck driver, uh, or a, you know somebody that worked on a armored truck, an armored car, or or just some kind of guard had it, and uh, they used it a lot. So, you're going to be seeing some more of this on the channel. You know, this was their duty weapon, whoever the guard was. Like I say, you're going to be seeing more of this on the channel. And this gun is going to be important in the future. And, like I say, I'm not telling you why yet, but it's going to be an important gun in the future. So, anyways, I noticed something about it. She is clear. You hear that? The striker's not hitting. So, I guess this being whatever model of M&P it is, law enforcement model or whatever, it's got a magazine safety, so it won't fire with the magazine. Now, my other M&P, my personal M&P, it will. So, I thought that was interesting. Y'all probably know a lot more about M&Ps than I do. I didn't even have to do that, but... Uh, like I say, y'all probably know more, more about M&P's than I do. You can probably tell me a little bit about that, a little bit that ma about that magazine safety. We're going to do it one more time. I'm going to pull that trigger slow. There ain't no grit in that trigger. So I don't know if that's a, had a trigger job or what. But there's no grit in that trigger. You know, there's usually a little bit of grit in the M&P trigger. There's none in this one. So, that's pretty cool. But, we're going to get this thing out, shoot it, review it in another video. And, uh, we'll talk more about why I bought this firearm. And, uh, everything in the future. But, uh, hope you'll stay tuned. Hope you'll want to see this Brinks trade-in. And I want to thank y'all for watching the Main Man channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you're watching the Main Man channel, it's not just a name, it's a way of life. You got to improvise, adapt, and overcome each and every day. Just to make it in this cool old world. So, make sure you sign up for the Ross CRS 22 giveaway. Make sure you sign up for the October 1st knife giveaway. Ross CRS 22 giveaway is ending very soon. Thank y'all, and I'll catch you next time.